Okay, okay. What if we could choose a dimension? If we would be using Experiment 42 again, and we could choose anything we want, where would you go? I would want to go to a laser game area with real obstacles. You know when they have dinosaur duplicates and spaceships? If that were all real, that would be really cool. <laughs> well, that would be the most awesome laser gameplay ever. <gasps> Let's go laser gaming! <laughs> totally! Just the two of us? If you want. <laughs> Bubbles, come on! Play with us, silly! Annabella! Annabella? Was that the name again? <laughs> what name? How does Bubbles know any names at all? Yeah, I think he's been looking for this Annabella chick. Oh, sorry. Isn't that just adorable? Don't If you're just gonna sit here being lonely, I'm not gonna wait for you. Come on, Lydia, let's have some fun. <laughs> right behind you, sister. <laughs> Bubbles? Well, I'll be off then. If anybody cares. <laughs> what? Hmm. Alright. When did I ever get the credit? Well, we're gonna have to use you anyway. We need to figure out this Alice thing. Why am I talking to you? Well, there's that stage in a scientist's life. If we're gonna use you again, we're gonna do it right. No more fun games. 42, I don't know what you can do, but if you understand me, Please take us to either Alice, the guy from Halloween, to Trotty, or Nina. Those are the names we need to figure out. Kate's got Noah. Lydia's got Perry. Who do I have? I think it's my time to have some fun. Maybe Noah did it. After all, you were talking about a laser game dimension. I didn't activate it. Kate and I were on our way to laser gaming. 
Yeah. And didn't you two learn anything about, you know, last time? Or is this about Alice? Lenny? Who the heck is Alice? Anyway, I didn't do it. Perry, I know you couldn't resist. It wasn't me, I swear. Guys, stop fighting. It was me. <laughs> You're joking, right? You wouldn't activate 42. You're always the one who doesn't want us to activate it. Yeah, why would you want to do anything exciting at all? Because the dimensions are leaking. What? You may not have noticed, but Kate told me about Alice. It's a name that has been popping up everywhere, again and again, which is impossible. Something is not right, very not right. Wait, did we break 42? Is this our fault? Oh my dog, we've been traveling dimensions over and over again and we didn't even think of the consequences. Are the universes collapsing? Wait, no, it can't be us. What about Alice and the guy from Halloween? They're the ones causing it, I think. Kid's right. It's not our fault. In fact, we need to keep traveling dimensions to find out what is going on. We might be able to fix it. Okay, so where do we go now? We're in a forest. Do we look for clues? Wait, what is this Alice thing? Creatures in other dimensions have been calling me Alice. Also, there was the guy from Halloween, the Kali who deactivated 42. That's what we need to figure out. Who are they and what are they trying to do? Well, we're in a forest. I say we... No, you don't say. Excuse me? You, Lydia and Kate, you're always the leaders. You just kind of take all the credit on why. You activate 42 because you are an adventure. Then you lead the group. Um, well, yeah. You have all been using my experiment against my will. And what did I ever get in return? You always take the credit and I'm just left behind. I'm just supposed to come with you and watch while you do everything. You've been using me for your entertainment. You want attention and you want to be nice. We have been in five dimensions now. And every time against my will. Did you forget I created 42? You have no idea how much you need me. Or how much you need 42? What if I just take it and leave, huh? I created something that can take us to other dimensions and back. I think I'm smart enough to be the leader of the group. I created 42, but somehow I'm the bad guy. I'm the one trying to protect all of us. But you don't care. You're just addicted to the adventures. You're addicted to the excitement. You've been treating me like a robot, and it's time I take some credit. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but it just had to be said. Alright, well, I gotta say, that was brave. I just, I thought you were a pushover, that's all. Well, I'm on your team, Lenny. Guys. What? Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Exactly. The birds. They've stopped singing. Why would they do that? Shh, Perry, quiet. Why? Shh. Everybody, stay absolutely silent and don't move a muscle.
There it goes. Hmm. I've never seen it from Minecraft before. Of course, I heard stories, but you know, it's different to see them with your own eyes, isn't it? I heard they were related to the Ocarina and Iron Belly. <laughs> anyway, where are my manners? Hi, I'm Phoenix. Call me Nina. You're new here, aren't you? Is it that obvious? Was that a dragon? <laughs> yep, you are definitely new here. Here. Oh, thanks, must have dropped it. What are you all doing here? Um, we're travelers. We, uh, travel. Wow. Right, so why did you go to this place? People have died trying to get out of here for months. And you just walk right in? You do realize you were almost killed by the way, right? And you saved us. And we want to thank you for that. So much! Yeah! Thank you so thank much! You. So, still, what brought you here? Did you just create a tiny sign? And what are those wings for? Hmm. How about this? I tell you my secret, you tell me your secret. I'll tell you about my wings and my powers if you tell me how you got here. Without a single scratch. Um, could you lower the wings, please? They're a bit distracting. No, they're not. They make you look like an angel. <laughs> Thank you. Well, of course, here you go. They're fake? <laughs> of course they are. When's the last time you saw a cat with the wings? Well, you know, anything can happen these days. Hmm. I am getting more and more curious about you. Anyway, I'm Phoenix, but you can call me Nina if you like. But what does Phoenix and Nina have in common? Me. When I was just a kitten, I was about to die. It was the time of the phoenixes. Phoenixes? Well, I was really sick and everybody kind of gave up on me. I was at the edge of death when a phoenix came inside. It flew through the open window and landed beside me. Phoenixes are the greatest creatures who have ever lived here. They're smarter, wiser, and caring. The phoenix had watched me for a few days, and I guess it was sad I was about to die. So it did the most incredible thing it could have done. It dropped a tear on my head. Phoenix tears are magical, very magical, and extremely rare. The tear, it gave me life. The phoenix saved my life that day, but it wasn't without side effects. So, what about your name? Well, after all this happened, my parents called me Phoenix. But my original name was supposed to be Nina. The people in my village didn't like to call me Phoenix. They thought everyone should be equal and I didn't deserve to be, well, special. So they called me Nina instead. Phoenix is a cool name, but Nina is more like, well, me. Why are the wings? Do they represent Phoenix? Oh, no. I use my wings and phoenix powers to distract dragons. See, it's a long story and I can tell you later, but basically, there are dragons everywhere. And I'm trying to train them. So the wings and little suns confuse them. It kind of shows them I'm one of them. I've got wings, I can make fire. It often works, but this one might have been a little bit aggressive. But you know, some are easy to train and some are just stubborn. You train dragons? I try to. But enough of me. I want to hear about you. Um, well, I'm Lenny. I'm Lydia. That's Perry, Noah, and Kate. Oh, and there's Bubbles, our pet, but he just ran off. Of course. Well, don't worry. He'll come back. Guys, do we tell? Well, we've never told anyone. We didn't lie, but they just didn't ask. I think it's time we tell someone. We've been saving tons of dimensions and just got away with the things. I think it's time to finally take some credit for what we do. Well, here it goes. We're dimension travelers. 
Lenny here created an experiment called 42. And it takes us to other dimensions and back. Yup, that's how we got here. You don't have to believe us if you don't want to. You travel dimensions. Yup, all the time. <sighs> and I thought my life was exciting. You mean, you're not from here, are you? No. Not even close. <sighs> wow. But, how did you... How did you manage to... Well... It was by mistake, actually. 42 was supposed to be a teleporter, but, well, something r wrong. Really wrong. And now we can travel dimensions! Dimensions? You've got to tell me everything. I believe you. At least, I want to. Is there anything we could fix around here? Well, not much you could do, I guess. It's pretty much impossible. What, what is? We can't do anything! We want to help. It's been chaos around here ever since the dragons came. Now, you can't do anything about the dragons. But you can do something, maybe. Just the people. <sighs> they treat them wrong, and that's what causes all the problems. But it's not their fault. They're just defending themselves. For example, the Crimean Crackle just now. It's suspected you were dangerous, so. Well, it went for the attack. But most of the dragons are not like this, I swear. We believe you. What do you do? I train them. Well, not entirely train, but I make them trust me. And from the moment they trust you, they are amazing creatures. They would never try to hurt you or let you get hurt. But the people don't understand. They don't want to make peace with the dragons, they just want to protect themselves. And they think the only way of doing this is to kill the dragons. I keep trying to convince them, but they never listen to me. This village thinks I'm crazy, just like the other villages. The other villages? Well, I wasn't born here. It was in another place, but the people there kind of banished me. There were three other villages before this one, and they've all sent me away. They don't see me as one of them because of the phoenix thing. And they think that's why I like dragons. We'll listen to you. We're on your side. Even if that side includes the dragons? Ah, uh, we can't handle dragons. Kate has done it before. What? No, that was different. Oh no. What? They're here. People from the village. Why? Well, I'm guessing they've come to rescue you from me. Get away from that! Why? Get away from that creature now, she's dangerous! Oh no, not again. Dangerous? What? You fools! You've got to come with us! Dragons are everywhere! It's okay, Nina can protect us. Oh, here we go. Look, that thing over there will only bring you death. It convinced you we're the bad guys. But we're not, she is. No. Kids, you've got to come with us. We'll bring you to the town and you'll be safe. At least, safer than you'll be around her. You people need to get out of the forest, now. We can take you to the village. You'll be safer from dragons there. And her. You shouldn't be in the forest unarmed. It's filled with dragons. Oh, don't worry. Nina can protect us. Yeah, I... All she does is bring you in danger. Don't you get it? She's got dragons on her team. And she's gonna get you all killed. Dragons can't be trusted. Neither can those who choose to befriend the dragons. She's just trying to hypnotize you. It's what she always does. She tries to get people on her side and then BAM! Things burn down, 
explode and people get hurt. That's just because you always attack them. What would you do if you were being attacked? People, you've got to come with us now. The weather is changing and dragons are coming. We are not going we'll anywhere. What? Lydia, why did you say that? Because... Dragons! I don't want to die. I don't know this girl and... She might be lying. And to be honest... I don't really like your story either. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm leaving. And Perry, I think you should too. Why? No. We're supposed to do good things, remember? I'm not leaving Nina. But what if leaving Nina is the good thing? I... No. No, no, it... Perry, come on. You're too young to die. Come on. I'm sorry. She's right. I knew it. Lydia! Perry! You? Come on, guys. We have to stay together. Well, I guess that's it. Not this time. You're fools. Maybe. The fooliest fools there are! And that's how we survive. We are 42 after all. So yeah, we might die in flames. But we're doing what we think is right. Lydia, I don't want to be a scaredy cat. I want to follow Nina. <sighs> Perry, come on. We're not following Nina. If you stay with me, I'll, I'll probably just find another dragon and you'll all be in danger. I mean, you don't know how to train dragons or fight them. You guys, travel dimensions, fly. You won't need me for that. No, Nina, what are you doing? We're here to stay. Nina. Huh? Dragon. <sighs> hey, nice guy. Nina, wait! We're coming with you! Well... Let me go get my coat. I want to show you something. You guys should be safe here. For now. What happened here? Fire. Dragons. It was the day the dragons came. Basically, the dragons came and they never left. Could I just ask, how are we safe here? An open place like this seems really dangerous. That's why no animals come here. They're all afraid of the dragons. So it's often really quiet out here. And most of the dragons are now in the forest, hunting. What about your dragons? Well, I don't really have any dragons. But I've got a lot of dragon friends. I used to have a dragon on my own as a companion, but well, the people killed her. I'm sorry. Well, she left something behind though. 
something for me to keep to take care of. This is what I wanted to show you. Is that a dragon egg? You have a dragon egg? A baby dragon? <laughs> Let me introduce you to Nitre. Wow. If we're going to meet another dragon, can it be like a baby? And would it be cute? <laughs> Well, there aren't many baby dragons around here. A lot of animals like to eat them. Cause they don't seem so bad when they're a baby. I need to watch over the egg as well. Snakes might eat it. No, I don't like snakes. <laughs> you know... You are awesome. I've always liked the word awesome. I wonder what Lydia and Perry are up to. Here we are. This isn't the normal forest, is it? What is this place? It's the protected part of the forest. It's where no people are allowed to go. That's what makes this forest so... amazing. It's untouched. Wow. This is where I'm gonna show you how to train a dragon. Like seriously? Wow! I always wanted to learn how to train a dragon! Wait, really? I don't know! But I really want to train one now! Wow. Okay, these places are full of Gaia's luck. What luck? Gaia's luck. It's a type of dragon. There's loads of them, but they're really shy. Usually, when it thinks it's being watched, it will become invisible and run away. So even though there are so many of them, hardly anyone ever sees one. And you are going to be the first to train one. Sweet! Awesome. From now on you have to be quiet though. Like I said, they're really shy. I love animals. Can I help you? Sure. You know, these are one of my favorite types of dragons. They hardly even look like dragons. They seem more like fairies to me. That's so cute. Hey, you. Don't worry, we're not gonna hurt you. Good, she accepted us. How do you know? When I take a step back, she stepped forward. She's not afraid to be with us. How do you know it's a girl? Gaius luck females have purple eyes. Hello. Lenny, she shows you. What? Well, you can go and say hello to her. Come on, step forward. What? Why did she not choose me? Don't worry, you'll get there. With these dragons, it's all about luck. Since Guy is luck so hard to find, they say that if you do befriend one, it'll either bring you luck or protect you. Hey there, girl. Do you have a name? Keep it? <laughs> no! Right? <laughs> no, of course not, silly. Hey, girl. <sighs> I love these dragons. Though, so, your story is about dimensions. 
Well, let's just put it like this. A phoenix is loving and caring, but a phoenix is also made out of fire. If you go to a dimension again, later in the future, could you take me with you for my birthday? Now which day would that be? <laughs> Any day. Of course. You know, you could come with us after this as well. After this? Yeah. When we, well, if we fix it here, you can come with us. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I can. That was a scream, who was that? It sounded like Lydia. But she's in the town. She's with the people. People are not, we gotta go. I'm really sorry, Gaia, but we gotta go. Our friend is in danger. And, well, um, you can go play with the, um, bitch. I'm sorry, Gaia, but I gotta go. Now what are we going to do? I, we should have stayed with Nina! What? No! Are you crazy? We would have died! There's a dragon over there! We're going to die here! Uh, and thanks to you, Nina's not here to save us this time! We're dead! You again? Uh... What is it? What is it? Wait for me! Uh oh. What's going on here? Dragon! Dragon. <gasps> Why are you hiding? Dragons are like kittens. It's just gonna try and get you out of there. If you hide, they'll only be triggered to go and find you. Um, calm and quiet approach? <laughs> nope, not this time. He knows us, and he's here to play. So to convince him we're one of them, let's play. Uh-oh. Are you alright? Yeah. Well, not for much longer, it seems. Here we are again. Let's play BC. Ah. Ah. Bump. So, I guess you remember our little meeting from earlier. You're not the nice and shy type of dragon, are you? Uh. Uh. Nina!
for saving us! Wow! Did we just get saved from a dragon by another dragon? Wow! Nina was right. Once a dragon trusts you, it'll do anything to keep you safe. Even if that's to fight another dragon. Come here! You brought back the stick! What? Oh, thanks Gaia! It's so cute! Perry, wait! Perry! What? You need to befriend it first. You can't just... Well, what you just did. Oh, I'm sorry, dragon! Do you want to be my friend? Nina. Hey there. Thanks for saving us. Are you alright? Yeah. Hey, you. Gaia came to save us. Gaia's luck, like you said, it protected us. Did you, girl? <laughs> it still tickles! girl. It's a good thing you came. Thanks for helping us out. I'm afraid I couldn't have done it. Well, you obviously did not. Nina? Yes? Can you teach me Train dragons. I'm sorry? Oh, can I become a dragon trainer? No, baby, ask politely. Please? Can she? I want to train a dragon as well. Me too. Why suddenly? Why now? After all this time, you've been. well. Because of what you just proved. Well, we were being attacked by a dragon, and then another dragon saved us all. It protected you. Like, like family. I know this is what you've been saying all along, and we're so sorry, but, well, we were just scared. Scared of dragons. And you just proved how good they can be. How loyal and brave. And I want to play fetch with it. If I throw a stick, will it bring it back? This one does. Yay! I like dragons. I thought you said you hated them last week. Yeah, but then I like them. <laughs> this is dumb. I have to warn you though. Not the whole town agrees with us. Some people still hate dragons. Well, I guess now I have a crew to convince them. And you can help me. If you want, of course. I would love to help. Of course. We want to be dragon trainers. We're on your team. They, they actually, they actually do. They believe me. Thank you guys so much. Without you, I'd be knocked out and the town would be destroyed by Davoon. Davoon? Yeah. I gave the Cremaine Crackle a name. He's old. He knows I'm coming for him. I mean, he's a Cremaine Crackle. I am definitely gonna go train him. We can help! Yeah, yeah we're in. we'll help. <sighs> well, I guess we have our new adventure. Quest for Davoon. Oh, wait. Uh, what is it? Don't you want to go? Oh, I'd love to, but I don't think we can. Oh, oh no! no! I don't want to go! It's just the... <sighs> We're from another dimension. And the device that brought us here 
It's gonna take us home any minute now. We've solved the problem. So, it'll be taking us back. But, we, don't, we only get a limited time. I'm sorry, but you can come with us. I can't. Well, you said you want an adventure, right? We can take you to a million dimensions. We'll have adventures till the dimensions rip us apart. That's kind of dark. That might happen, though. Oh, my dog, please, no. I would love to come with you. Really, I want to come with you. But my job here isn't done. It's only starting. I need to teach people how to train dragons now. And I still have to watch over Nitre. I see. I really want to come with you. But it's just that I've tried so long and I can't just quit now. I I do want to but I can't but it's alright. Travel dimensions. Fly. But promise me one thing. Come back for me. Yes. Well, I guess this is goodbye. I guess it is. Goodbye, Nina, daughter of the Phoenix. Farewell, Lenny, traveler of dimensions. I'm sorry, but we're not staying. You have to follow Nina, okay? I'm sorry, but we can't stay. Take care, Gaia. Did it just say my name? <laughs> I don't think so. So, what now? <laughs> <laughs>